Hey there, Chad with Prodigal's customer success team here. In this video, we're gonna talk about creating multi-section estimates so that you can create distinct price sections for your customers to break down the costs of the scope of work that you'd like to present to them. Let's head over to the lead pipeline, clicking on the lead pipeline button in the left-hand side of the screen. And on the Glen Re estimate here, I've provided a scope of work that's broken down into multiple sections. Let's go ahead and open it up. In here you can see our standard introduction with you know uh, contract details at the bottom involving just our standard scope of work and deposit and all that sort of stuff. And additionally you can see we have demolition and disposal in one section with its associated price, plumbing, drywall and paint, tile installation, carpentry, etc. all with their own distinct prices. If I open up drywall and paint you can see that I have a drywall installation labor item with a price associated, painting with a price associated, all rolled up into one section. Keeping these together in this one section gives us one distinct price for this scope of work. Additionally, you can see under demolition and disposal, I have one labor item and it's marked as visible as well as multiple material items that are marked as non-visible. If we open this up, in the customer portal, we can see what it looks like from their perspective. This is exactly how it's gonna look when you send your estimate across. We have again, the demolition and disposal section. There's of course the materials adding up into this price that are not shown in here. Um, and as well, the tile installation or the drywall and paint like we were looking at all with their own distinct prices. If you'd like to add an additional section, go down to the bottom and there will be a larger labor material or other cost button. If we want to add a labor into an empty section, simply click the labor button. And then from here we could say new section. And then we'll also put a new labor. And then under the description here, we'll put in um, new description. And then we'll simply put a price for our customer. We'll just say $500. Close that up and we'll be able to see we have our new section with our $500 cost. And heading up to the preview as customer button, we'll again open that right up. And then we'll scroll down to the very bottom where we can see our new section with our new labor and our new description and a price of $500 rolling up into the cost. And that's how you add additional sections into a multi-section estimate, breaking up the cost very distinctly, very broken down for your customer, while still being able to build in all of your margins to get a running tally of your estimated labor material or other company costs and an estimated gross profit of what you could make on this job. And that's a multi-section estimate within Prodigal. Thanks for watching.